Hi everybody from my beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we're looking at Kemel Zoon. It's a no-load door home once you've got inside. It's by uh, Northern Winds. And this is where we are. Let me show you the map. So there's Dragon Bridge. And here we are. And doesn't it look spectacular? What a gorgeous little place to be. Okay, let's go and have a look. I'm seeing this at the, at the same time as you are, so... It's all new to me. Now uh, we have a button here. 25k, yes. Congratulations, welcome to your new home. Key added. Nice. Oh, so pretty. Oh, wow, look at this place. Okay, that is super cute. We've got shrines everywhere. <laughs> all the shrines. Oh, I love all the greenery. This is so nice. What do you think, Inigo? And cat. Have a little dining table up here. I'll try and go one floor at a time. That is beautiful. Big bar. Lovely dining table. Oh, these flower arrangements, though. Don't they make the place look jolly? I mean, normally dwarven places. Mm not so great this one however okay we'll go in all the doors in a tick let's just carry on through so see where it takes us oh my god okay so for the collectors amongst you there's a few mannequins there's weapon plaques somewhere for your paragons and other stuff Ooh, i like that these are kind of in their own little grooves a really nice way to show off your more spectacular armors. What do you think? Oh my god, look at this place. Ooh, that looks like it might... Oh! Elder Scrolls. I thought it was going to open, but nay. Claws. What have we got over here? Oh wow, black books, helms. Fab. So much here. Okay, let's let's have a look inside these doors before we go upstairs then. This is cool, right? It's not just me that thinks so. <laughs> I actually really like the dwarven aesthetic. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but this is terrific. Baking supplies, prepared food, so named storage, dead easy to find. And this is super cute. Oven. Ooh, I could eat that whole thing right now. Plenty of cupboard space and a butter churn. Oh, have we got clickies? Yes, indeed, a working tap. Oh my god, love. Okay, that's that's fab. Let's see what's on the other side. It's exciting. I seem to recall that you could have room for I think it was four children and eight followers. This is nice, right? Oh look, they've each got their own little individual bedside light. So I'm guessing this is going to be your follower room, or one of them. This is cosy though, don't you think? And I really love that we don't have the dwarven stone beds, you know. We've moved on. This is so cool. So I'm guessing that on the other side will be the children and our bedroom. If this is like... Oh no, I don't know though. Look at this! <laughs> Okay, that's very nice. What a neat arrangement, sitting around the fire with your wine and your, and your glasses. I thought it was going to be like a story time thing for children, but not, not likely really with wine, is it? Oh, this is so super. Okay, I'm sure Inigo is going to be very happy here. So if you are one of those people that collects followers, you're going to be all right. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, hey. Oh, wow, that's so very nice. I love that that has been vented. <laughs> Welcome, Matt. Holy moly. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow, it's like it's powering our forge. Really nice. Things to take. Oh, workshop chest. Nice. Oh, look at the workbench. 
and a tanning rack. We've got we've got it all going on in here. Okay, I completely misread then where where the rooms were going to be. This is really good. I like that. You know where something isn't utterly predictable. Okay. All right. Did I go in everywhere? I think I did, didn't I? <laughs> yep. Okay. So kitchen, smithy, and uh, two followers' rooms we've got down here. Okay, let's carry on. Maybe we're upstairs then. Ooh. <laughs> this is vast but beautifully done, don't you think? Okay, ton of display cases. Somewhere to sit and contemplate your possessions. Okay, and this is all generic storage by the look of it. Mole mannequins. This is awesome. Okay. Well, especially if, you know, I think there's a patch now, isn't there, for Texarium, because that one's another great dwarven home, I think. And I believe it clashed horribly with AE. There was some rubbish house that, <laughs> that Anniversary Edition put in the same spot. I think there might be a patch for it now, but this is a contender, don't you think, for just pure loveliness and uniqueness as well. This is smashing. We've got soils here. Just check. Yeah, look. Oh, that's going to make a terrific display. It's down here. One more doors. Oh, my God. Okay, don't come for me if I miss anything. Just download it and check it out for yourself, which is what I always say. And I always get comments saying, oh, you didn't know me this yet. <laughs> Please don't nag. Well, this is lovely a bath and a shower in here really nice okay i'm liking this there's even a little chair in there to sit down hey puss okay so this is a really nice library area oh how i would love to have my own dedicated library in real life this is beautiful okay we've got arcane enchanter staff enchanter alchemy lab nice decoration really nice look at that bookshelf that is gorgeous carving on it right potions jewelry poisons ingredients all of that more doors Okay, so I'm guessing this one's going to be your bedroom. Oh, look, how cute are the little tiny trees in the pots. What a pretty little thing. Oh, and two candles. This is really cute. Thrones for Inigo to order his dancing spiders. Beautiful room. Just checking none of these. I've got false doors. I've got my own office here too. Essence extractor, attunement sphere. Oh, that's nice, the way that you've got some um, special items integrated into your general decor. Look at that. Oh, I really like what, what everything that's been done, actually, with all the greenery around here. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this beautiful balcony. <gasps> Whoa, at the views. Oh, wow, I didn't even mention the stables over the road. There's my horse. <laughs> Just sat there. In fact, when I fast travelled here, um, this was from the Dover micro home, the horse just came with me and parked himself automatically in the stable, so that's cool. Oh, the view. This place is magnificent. I love it. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay, I think I've been all over here haven't i let me just check what's on this side oh here's my children's room oh this is cute look how nicely this has been done i've got wooden swords and a lute yeah would you give your kids musical instruments i don't know <laughs> one's got a flute this is super cute they've got a toy box their own individual little chests a play mat with figurines. Oh, okay. This is actually making me want to go out and adopt kids because I'm sure that they would love this. I mean, I would. 
and everything's warm and cozy and comfortable and unique. I really like the, this is super different from any other dwarven home I've seen. I think it's because it encompasses all sorts of other elements. Oh, look out. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Irrigation system. That is really nice. Okay, well, I don't know about you, but I think this place is amazing. I don't know what I like most about it either. I think it's just because it is, like I say, it's different. It's got all the crafting requirements and et cetera and everything that you need. Really comfortable place too. All right then, and this should cover for most people, shouldn't it? Most folks would love to have something like this. I know a ton of you do collect children and followers, so I'm gonna leave you with that view towards Dragon Bridge and beyond that solitude called at the end of this video say thanks so much for watching take care and stay safe everybody